Okay guys, so I'm at this store. You know I haven't posted anything, but I'm definitely going to be revis revisiting this. And look what I found. The, uh, one of the very first VCRs. I am getting it. That is... Yes! I love living in California. This is so awesome. So here's what I got. I got this 1978 RCA VCT200 VCR. And it is pretty cool. I also got two tapes with it. One generic VHS tape to just to test with. And I found this. It's a U-Matic tape from 1972. And it was recorded in 1974. I have a tape player for this at, in the basement of my mom's house. But I've never gotten the full-size tapes for it. So I can try this sometime when I get back there. It's pretty cool. But now let's try this. I believe it has some mechanical issues, so that'll be good to test because, well, I don't have a TV with me. But I'm going to look for an old TV like my 16-inch Magnavox that I have at my, at my house. So I can put this on top of that and it'll look very 1980s or 70s or whatever. I almost forgot about that. Okay. Probably should light up back there. Okay, so now I have power on. You know, let's change the time. I'm glad that the v, uh, the VFD is pretty bright. That's not the time, but whatever. It's close enough. It's like 20 minutes past. Let's try to play. It's not moving in there. Most likely it's the belts that have gone bad in it. Well, let's open it up and see what's inside of it. Well guys, I ran into an issue. I don't have any tools. Well, I ran out and bought some. There we go. That should help us. Now let's get back to the VCR. I played with it for a bit and it's acting a little different now, so I think there's a couple belts that are loose on the bottom and messing things up. Surprisingly, the belts look okay. So here we are back on the desk, so this thing can stand upright, or on its side, I mean. I'll put the umatic tape there, and let's try turning it on. So whenever I try to hit play, that happens. It looks like there's a gear way back in behind it. So that's not working right, evidently. Not sure. See what I mean right there? There's that gear. It's behind it. When I hit play, it kind of vibrates as if it's broken. Let's 
you look right there, you can see the gear is actually cracked in half. I might be able to fix that with some E6000 or something like that, though. Or maybe 3D print a brand new gear. It is very unfortunate, though, that, that I have to take apart the main mechanical parts, because usually the, they don't go back together very easily. There's a lot to go wrong in here. Well, guys, it looks like I may be able to remove the gears from the bottom instead of through the top. That should let me not have to mess with all the intricate mechanisms in the top. Well, I ran out and got some super oil. I think I'll go with E6000, even though it's not meant for plastic, but oh well. It's just, I, I've tried using Loctite for a few things, and it hasn't really worked entirely well for me. But everything I've tried E6000 on, especially plastic things, have worked great, so let's try that first. So I'm going to put some E6000 onto this. I'm going to put it on the faces of the sprocket gear thingy and then I'm going to put a little bit on the inside if there isn't enough in there already I'm going to put it onto the, the shaft and then I'll take this rubber band and wrap it around it to keep it in place now we'll let that sit it has now been 24 hours and I say, let's give this thing a try. Put it back together and turn on. If this is the only issue, I've really lucked out on this piece of history. First, we're going to see if I have this flywheel on backwards. Huh. Oh. Sounds smooth enough to me. Because if it was on backwards, then it would be off counter. So, now let's try play. It is sideways though, so it might not work too well. Well, unfortunately, the gear broke again. Looks like the epoxy just wasn't strong enough. So I'm going to go to plan B. I'm going to 3D print a new gear. And I'll also remind myself to put in a, little, a couple of spacers in here. Because I think they might need it. And while I'm at it, I might as well just go ahead and print the other gears too. Or at least drop the 3D models of them so I can always have them. Maybe you didn't hear all the way, but I assume that 24 hours would be, strong, would be long enough. Oh well. I think maybe it's just all the grease that was on these. I couldn't clean them off good enough. Well, guys, I'm going to put this thing back together and wait until I get some more equipment because I'm kind of not in a position to do anything right now. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!